Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. So, um, I'm here in the nether because I never really finished the barter battery down there, did I? Like, I've only got one working, like, piglin module. And I think for today's episode, we're going to try and finish the farm itself because... I want to be able to actually use all 120 piglins down there, and at the moment, I can only use 30, and that's not good. I also need to break all of their crossbows as well, and before we do that, I think we should replace this golden helmet. This curse of vanishing helmet, which almost got me killed in the last episode. I'm gonna need to replace this with something that has fire protection, I think. So let's go ahead and try and do that. And in order to create that new golden helmet, we're here in the gold farm. Hello, nether chicken. In fact, I should probably rename you. I'm not happy with the fact that you are still called the chosen one, because that is just a generic name tag name that I have in this world. Oh, hang on. I don't even have any anvils down here. It's all just grindstones. Let's uh, replace two of these. There you go. And we should call this chicken nether chicken. Because to be honest, that's what I've been calling him anyway. There's your new name, Nether Chicken. Now you have a unique name. So let's just craft ourselves a new golden helmet. And we'll try to enchant it and get fire protection four out of it. That is not it. So let's stick that in the grindstone. Respiration three. Uh, that's, that's a really good gold helmet, but it's not what I want. Fire protection four. That's better. I was hoping for more enchantments though. So I'm actually going to create a few gold helmets and we'll combine them to get, like, the ultimate golden helmet. Fire protection for an aqua perinity. That is already better than the one I just had. Okay. <laughs> Let's just throw that into the system where it can be smelted down. And I think I'm going to call this helmet the Midas Crown. And we're just going to combine it together with all of these helmets. And I've got to say, that should do a pretty good job for what I want it to do. So, brand new helmet, everyone. I'm less likely to die to lava now. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I should probably just go ahead and enchant some new diamond pickaxes as well, because I have been breaking them. It's not enough to fill my pickaxe slots in my spare tool shulker box, but uh, yeah, that'll do for now, that'll do for now. So let's head over to the barter battery and get to breaking piglins crossbows. I think we all know that that needs to be done at some point. <laughs> now that is an interesting visual glitch with the glass there. It almost looks like the portals are facing the wrong way, but they're not, I swear. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Or at least I hope it's just a visual glitch with the glass. I'm sure it'll fix itself. So, hopefully these guys will just shoot me and break all of their crossbows. And I think they're hitting each other. That is not good. Okay, let's time out. I think we're going to need some health potions for these guys. <laughs> and I've still got all of these health potions from when I was end raiding. So I've been able to steal some. We'll turn these into splash potions. And I think we'll brew up some more as well. So we've got some glistering melon slices from my villagers. And if I just break this, I can just throw a potion down from here. There we go. I hope that actually got all of them. I think I hit the glass pane. Maybe I need to break this block as well, and then, like, just make sure that the potion actually, like, hits the piglins. And, oh my goodness, no, no, that's that's a mistake. Don't do that. Okay, everyone, I've just lost a piglin. Ah, <laughs> oh, he was one step from being zombified, and now he's gone through the portal. Oh, is this him? Is this him? I don't think that's him. Oh, there he is. He's got the crossbow down there. Oh, he was one step from being zombified, and that was indeed the case. Poor little piggy. So I think, unfortunately, that I need to just take a break from the crossbow breaking process and just throw a health potion every now and then. Or I can sit in some kind of sweet spot where they don't hit each other. I've got to say, this is looking like a pretty good sweet spot to me at the moment. It does seem to be working. Maybe I don't need the health potions after all. And I think that was the last crossbow in that module. So we've completely pacified that section of the barter battery. And I think it's time that we move on to the other portals. And that's the last one for that portal. I didn't lose a single piglin with this module. So I'm pretty happy without that. Ah, uh, this module is being a bit of a pain. This piglin definitely has an unbreaking three crossbow. I've been sat here waiting for it to break for ages. Oh my goodness. And it's just refusing to break. Oh, finally. I think I... 
I think that one's done. <laughs> um, this module does not seem to be working so well. There doesn't seem to be like a good sweet spot. Oh no, and I'm failing to throw the potions at a good time as well. They're just dying. Oh dear. This isn't going to go well, so I'm just going to burn through my potions. So, I've come up with a plan. I'm going to enchant up a bunch of golden armor and feed it to the piglins, and they'll be able to gear up and hopefully survive each other's crossbows long enough that I don't feel like I'm using too many health potions. Hopefully I get a good amount of projectile protection, but I don't know how likely that is. So, I've got 30 pieces of golden armor for each type. I'm just going to put it into this chest here. And there they go! <laughs> Fully gearing up. Let it look at them go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they they loving the armor, aren't they? <laughs> this is actually quite cool to see. Just they're all looking at the stuff, gearing up. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and I think they're pretty much done. Brilliant. So now back to the crossbow breaking. Hopefully they won't take too much damage from each other now. And I think we've just got one unbreaking three crossbow again. Ah, oh, why did I have to put piglins with enchanted crossbows in here? I should have just killed them and gotten another one. Jeez. And here we go, everyone. I have completely finished all of the crossbows in the barter battery. Although, unfortunately, I did lose quite a few piglins. So here, for example, one piglin jumped through the portal and I think... One or two might have died as well from my like, entity cramming damage like a while ago. So I'm just going to put in an extra piglin in those. I didn't lose any piglins with this portal, so zero piglins here. And this portal, I'm fairly certain I lost two. Or at least I hope I lost two. I don't think I miscounted. Hopefully I can't miscount two. And then five piglins on this side and five piglins on this side. And I'm not sure if it was actually that even, but there were a lot of piglins dying in this module. And uh, it was a bit of a massacre. <laughs> I've got some replacing to do, that's for sure. And just to give everyone a reminder of how the barter battery works here, I can just put some gold into this input chest up here. And then I can just remove those blocks there. And then all I need to do is stand on this central pressure plate. And then that feeds the gold to all of the piglins and they'll throw the items into the portal and it goes through to the other side where there is a storage system waiting to pick everything up. And this is the storage system on the other side of the portal and as you can see, I need to complete the storage system. There is a complete lack of chests here. I need to farm up a lot of logs for this episode so that I can finish this farm off properly. Um, we've got quite a bit of resources from our bartering here though, and hopefully as we progress in the world, all of these chests will fill up, and I'll just have, like, infinite resources here for projects in the future. And I never did fix the storage system on this side, did I? I've got to redo the item filters. Can't forget to do that. <laughs> and that's the item filters completed, so let's get to chopping down some trees. I'm going to need a lot of wood for these chests. And I think the best tree to get that done with is the giant spruce trees here. You can just plant them, let them grow, and then just keep climbing them and harvesting all of the logs. You get like a stack of logs from each tree. It's beautiful. And here we go. I've got four shulkers full of spruce logs. Hopefully that's enough to complete that storage system, as well as the other three modules. We're hopefully going to finish every single storage module for the Barter Battery with this episode. <laughs> I did take a lot of damage on that axe though, so let's just repair that real quick. There we go. Don't you just love the sound of death? Wait, what? Whoa. That was a weird lag spike. <laughs> oh, that felt really weird. I hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, right. Anyway. So, let's just go ahead and craft ourselves a bunch of chests. And we'll just add them to our wall here to complete the storage system for that piglin module. And here we go, everyone. This barter battery module is now complete. And all I have left to do is to do the same another three times. One there, one there, and one there. Ah, oh, it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. Once I have the barter battery up and running at its full capacity, I'm going to be drowning in blackstone and soul sand and gravel, and it's going to be so good. Oh, 
I can't wait. <laughs> but anyway, let's get straight to it. And welcome back everyone, we now have four separate storage systems for each Higlin Barter Bartery module. So this farm is pretty close to being completed at this point. There are a couple of things that I have yet to do though. As an example, unfortunately I had to move the storage systems off by like a block or two, and it wasn't with every module. So the centre of the storage systems, the centre block, has actually moved. So I think I'm actually going to have to need to, like, move the storage systems by, like, another block or two just to give myself my center block back. Because otherwise, that's going to be a bit awkward. That's work for future me, though. I just hope he'll get it done. <laughs> and let's just give this a quick test. This module should now be fully operational. There are 30 piglins in here because none of them died. So hopefully... This one in particular should be working at full speed. So let's just give it a quick check. Did everything work? I'm not seeing items that are stuck anywhere, which is good. How are the chests? Okay, we've got blackstone. Good, good. We think we collected all of that. We only put nine stacks of golden ingots in here. So this is about as much as we should expect. Got eight stacks of blackstone. I think that's on the unlucky side. But it is still just like chance based, isn't it? It wasn't that much gold, but I do think that everything's working here, which is pretty good. And something else you might have noticed during that time lapse is that I built four different quadrants of, like, ice trays, I guess. And there was a reason for that. I didn't really have, like, a proper ice farm in this world. And this is going to be, like, a nice little temporary solution, not a permanent one. I'd like to have, like, a proper ice farm here in the center of the barter barter because it gives me more reason to go here but for now this will do i've already been able to use it we've been using it for the water streams with the storage system which is always good then all i need to harvest it is to just go ahead and break all of the ice like this and the way that i've set out the water log stairs here the water sources just instantly reform once the harvesting is done and all of the ice gets funneled over to the corner here and I can pick everything up. I think it's pretty good. It is a temporary solution though. I'm going to build like a better one in the future. And the reason why it's a temporary solution is because once you pack it all down into packed ice and then blue ice, you don't really get that many blue ice blocks from it. I got nine. <laughs> that is not very much at all. If I'm going to build like a proper nether hub, I'm going to need a lot more ice than that. That's for sure. I've also tried to add, like, a zombie piglin catching mechanic here. It's like, I don't want zombie piglins getting into the barter battery here and picking up iron boots and then never despawning. So what we've got here is a fence gate, and the zombie piglins will sink through the fence gate and die, like they should. That'll just take them straight out of the equation, and I won't have any build-up. I think it's time that we get started on work with the nether, though. I have an incredibly scuffed nether ceiling, and it needs a fixin'. You see all of those obsidian boxes left over from the TNT obliterator modules, and all of those bridges too. Oh, they're all spawnable spaces, lowering the rates of my gold farm. They've gotta go! <laughs> I'm gonna have to put in the hours to remove everything in the nether ceiling, and hopefully it will look less scuffed as a result. So, I hope you enjoy that time lapse everyone, let's get straight into it.
Oh my goodness, that was extremely painful. But I am here with the last obsidian block that I have to mine in the nether. Oh, please never let me do this again, ever. I do not want to mine obsidian ever again. If I do, I, I might just lose this hardcore world from sheer boredom, but whatever. I did try to save as much as possible, so we've got that shulker there, and three shulkers within our ender chest as well, and this block here is the last block of the nether. So, let's finish this once and for all. There it goes. So, that is our last obsidian block, and in fact, let's just rename this never again. Please, let that be a promise. <laughs> never again. <laughs> And that means that I can just remove this last little bit of netherrack up here. Oh, goodbye piglin. Been having to deal with a few of those. <laughs> and some people aren't actually aware of this, and I feel like I have to bring this up every now and then. But you can actually use beacons in the nether. They may get blocked by netherrack, but they can punch through bedrock, like you can see here. So I was lucky enough to be able to use haste 2 during that. Otherwise, I would still probably be mining obsidian right now. And that would have been a headache. <laughs> but that mission has now been accomplished, so I can finally remove this beacon from our ceiling. And then hopefully, that will improve the rates of our gold farm at the centre of our nether here. Is there a noticeable difference? You know what? I think there is. <laughs> I think there is a very noticeable difference with the amount of death raining down from above there. So let's just go ahead and repair all of our tools. Oh yeah, that's a definite improvement. I've never gathered this much extra XP from the farm before. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty huge. <laughs> the real question is though, can the storage system keep up with looting at its max capacity? And the answer to that is a definite no. Okay. It looks like I might need to add some spaghettification to the hoppers back here just to catch everything. I don't want to lose any drops, you see. Oh dear. It's just so crazy already and even the nether chicken loves it. He basically lives in the gold farm, by the way. He's just listening to piglins dying all day, non-stop. He loves it. <laughs> and I think we're going to put our last never again obsidian block into our chest of important thingamabobs. Never again shall go in here. It can go into a museum at some point. And while I'm at it, I should probably rename some of these things, like our first diamond here. There we go. Our first shield, our first block broken, our first helmet, our first chest plate, our first boots, first pants, first pickaxe, first sword, and the first turtle shell. Lots of milestones in here. Lots of firsts, and now a last. <laughs> You can see my collection of music discs here as well. Like, I don't have a proper music disc farm, so all of these are natural finds, which I think is pretty cool. I've already got seven. I'm pretty proud of that. Now then, I think it's time that I recentered my storage system for the barter battery here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move a couple of the modules one or two blocks further back. And then that should allow me to still make use of the 3x3 chunk surrounding method of like the, the nether portals here that I need in order to keep them loaded. Like all of the entities and whatnot. And hopefully everything should work itself out. I don't think I'm going to leave the chunks here. So let's kickstart another time lapse. The third time lapse of the episode. And finish this farm off for real. It must be done. And welcome back everyone. So the barter battery storage system is now fully completed. That is a pretty big milestone. So I can now officially use every single module within the nether when I'm feeding gold to the piglins. And all of these chests will fill up with stuff and it's gonna be beautiful. A couple of the water streams are different for each different storage module because I didn't actually want to leave his trunks here, so I had to go out through the front instead. <laughs> I was pretty close there. 
But everything has worked out in the end, and I'm definitely looking forward to being able to fully decorate this place in the future. I've got some cool ideas here. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't like it when I take off my gold helmet, do they? But I have some piglins to replace. There has been some casualties. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to break the portal. And I'll try to drop a couple of them in through the top. I don't particularly want them standing up on the trap doors either. So we're going to actually pull them back a little bit. And we'll push them back in later. So let's just pull that lever. Yep. It's grabbed the trap doors, and then I can pull them back. There we go. The piglins won't be able to jump up on them anymore and escape or anything like that, or jump around. So hopefully I can just drop additional piglins straight in. So let's just build ourselves a little catch chamber, I guess. I don't know how else to call it. <laughs> and I'm also going to need to build another spawning pad, unfortunately. <laughs> Luckily though, the center of our nether is, it is pretty spawn proof. So it should take no time at all to gather ourselves up some piglins. Oh my goodness, I looked away for like 20 seconds and I've already got that many spawns. What on earth just happened? Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's so many mobs here. So many piglins. Oh, this is good though. Let's just catch all of our piglins here with, uh, with some boats. And we'll get rid of the zombies as well. Luckily, we've got a smite sword to take care of them. <laughs> no, you're not allowed in the boat. Not you either. And we'll just name these guys the chosen one. There we go. And I've gathered up quite a few piglins with crossbows again. So we're going to need to break them once more. And to do that, I think I'm going to try and lure them over with golden carrots. Hopefully that should work. Let's just turn on the hitboxes, break them out of this boat. And... Now go. Go to your carrot. Okay. okay. I think he's a unit. Go in, dude. You can make it. He's in. There we go. One down, many to go. That shouldn't be too hard, though. The guys with swords, though, can just go straight into the barter battery, where they will remain for eternity. And I think if I just break that block there, and we'll throw a carrot there as well. I should be able to lure the piglin over to the hole where I can push him in. So, the moment of truth. Let's break his boat. Now, go up. What are you doing? Don't you dare go into that portal. I swear to God. Oh, thank goodness. He's actually seen it. That took a while. <laughs> that took way too long. Right. Okay, Mr. Piglin. Please don't have any complaints. Just go straight up and let me push you in. All right. Is that a deal? Oh, you did not just do that. Okay. Okay. That was unfortunate. And let's just block off these other portals while I'm at it. <laughs> now I should be able to just push him in. There we go. That is one piglin replaced and several to go. <laughs> and now that I've added all of the sword piglins into the barter battery, we can just go straight ahead and break these guys' crossbows as well. Okay, here's the sweet spot. There we go. This is good. They're just hitting the slabs in front of me. And they can't hit me. And there we go. We've broken all of their crossbows. So let's just let them out. And we'll hopefully catch them in their boats. There we go. Just please don't push each other off of the platform. Or I will be very upset. <laughs> I've already wasted so much time waiting for piglins to break crossbows today. I don't want to do it again. And now that that's done, we can just send them over to the bar to battery. Come on, dude. You're the last guy. Come on. Just go in. Just, just do it. I want to call this over and done with. Oh, he's in. Finally. <laughs> the barter battery has been officially fully repaired and completed. We're pretty much done. That's just fantastic. I'm finally going to be able to test this thing at full power. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I have no more need for this spawning platform though, so let's just go ahead and remove that. And how much gold have we got? Okay. There's not actually that much within our gold shulker box, and we've got loads of pressure plates as well, which I don't need. So let's just dump them into this ice shulker for now. And we should be able to just craft up a bunch of gold blocks from our farm. We'll be able to pick up our nuggets just like so, and then craft them instantly into golden ingots. Oh, we are so close. A stack and a half of blocks left over. I've just completely emptied the gold farm of all of the golden nuggets, so... 
I guess we're gonna have to do some manual farming here. So let's just go and uh, do this for a little while. And then hopefully we'll have enough golden nuggets at the end of this. Well, I've been stood here for quite a while. I've gone up by like 40 levels, so you know that that's pretty intense. And I've got to say, this is a lot of extra spare XP that I've just got floating around here. My goodness, there's so much. <laughs> and in recent updates, all of the XP orbs combine as well to like condense all of the entities down into one entity. But it seems like I've overflowed on that limit, for sure. <laughs> Just look at how many little bubbles there are. <laughs> and you want to know how much XP there was? It was enough to go from level 105 to level 108. That is a lot of spare XP left over from the farm. My goodness. This farm is so cool now. <laughs> and there we go. Our gold shulker box is now full. Let's unload it all into the barter battery and let it all loose. So we're just going to go ahead and split everything as evenly as possible. I think it's a little over six stacks of gold blocks for each barter battery module. And that should be an even split. Oh, I've actually got two stacks left over. I didn't do my mask properly. <laughs> okay, luckily though, that is easy enough to fix. Oh, they did not like that. <laughs> And just to shield myself from blazes and ghasts, I'm just going to build a little bit of a protective platform here. I don't know how useful this is going to be, but I need to leave gaps open for the piglins to see me because they need to see me to throw the items to me through the nether portal. Otherwise, it won't really work. But I think we're pretty much done here. So let's give this farm its first proper, true, maximum efficiency test. Let's see if everything is working as it should do. Okay, everyone's picking up there. These guys don't look like they're picking up at all. Okay, why aren't they doing that? What? What's wrong? These guys are fine. These guys are not fine. Those guys are fine. Those guys are fine. So what have I done wrong here? Oh, I left the netherrack. Okay, I was blocking the redstone. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now they should be picking up the gold. Yeah, they are. It's working. It's working fine. Fantastic. Just as planned. And there we go, everyone. That took a little over 13 minutes, I think. And we've just burned through an entire shulker box of gold blocks. My goodness. This is a fast farm. <laughs> Let's just check if everything has worked as planned on the other side. We've got piglins here. Are they named? No. Okay. They'll die eventually. They'll fall through the hole. That's fine. I need like another nether portal for this place. Like a central one so that I don't have to go through the storage ones just to access my items here. Okay, has everything worked? Oh, we've got items. Why are there items? Is everything okay here? This is the end of our water streams. And I think what this is, is actually all of the junk that I haven't sorted. Like there are iron nuggets and boots and books here that I just either do not want to sort or cannot sort. And just in case I wanted to keep all of this junk, I did actually add another three chests to the end of this module in particular, and we can collect like soul speed three books or fire resistance potions, and maybe we'll get rid of the rest of it. Everything else, once overflow starts happening, we'll just uh, get fired straight into a cactus. Now, how are the resources that we gained? Okay, we've got a lot of blackstone here. That's good, good, good. And we've got lots of soul sand too. Crying obsidian, obsidian, nether bricks. Oh, this is fantastic. I think everything's working as planned. I think I can say that the barter battery is now officially complete and working as intended. And the reason why that's good news is because it means that I can finally get started on decorating this place in the future. And while the main thing that I'm happy about gathering from this farm is blackstone, I'm also really happy about all of the gravel that I'm going to be gathering as well. Like... As these chests fill up, it's going to eventually save me from a huge gravel grind. Like, whenever I want to do, like, a concrete project, I don't have to go out and gather gravel. I've already got it stored from the bar to bar to. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I can store so much here. <laughs> it's going to be great. Although, when I do a concrete project, who knows when that will be. I expect I'll do one at some point in the future, though. It'll happen eventually. Our gold shulker box is definitely suffering, though. Oh... It used to have so many blocks within, and now 
It's just completely empty. I have to say, though, it looks like we've already farmed up a bunch of nuggets. <laughs> I can't wait for when this farm just ends up filling up entirely. It will happen at some point. My goodness, is that a lot of zombie piglins? <laughs> and the nether chicken has indeed survived for one more episode. Congratulations, you little fluffball. You made it another episode. I think I'm going to have to make that the end of the episode, though. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.